Today, I would like to talk about the book One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. First, I would like to talk about the author, Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Um, as a Russian novelist, he was an outspoken critic of the Soviet Union and communism. Um, he was arrested and served in prison for eight years because he wrote some of the um, writings about criticizing Stalin and <clears throat> his imprisonment has greatly affected his writings um, he said that one month after I had served the full term of my eight-year sentence there came without any judgment new judgment and even without a resolution from the also an administrative decision to the effect that I was not be released but exiled for life to southern Kazakhstan. This measure was not directed specially against me but was a very usual procedure at that time. So based on his experience in the camp, he published The One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich. So, the background information. At the time when um, he wrote this book, uh, the Russia was Soviet Union and the leader was Joseph Stalin. The society was very oppressive and there were many um, revolutions. In 1917, um, the people of Russia revolted with the military support. A temporary, <laughs> a temporary government was set up. During the revolution, the working classes led a successful revolt against the Tsar of Russia, Nicholas II. And Soviet Union was under communism, yes. And uh, for the next two years, Civil war was fought between the increasingly repressive communists and anti-communists. Um, after Lenin's death in 1924, Joseph Stalin quickly rose to power, becoming di dictator in 1929. And it was after the World War. And as I said before, um, the story is um, reflected by Solzhenitsyn's experience at Gulag. Gulag is the sentence camp in Russia. Um, in Gulag, uh, the prisoner prisoners do a lot of hard labors. Um, yes. So the story of so the plot of the story is um, thankfully it is summarized in page 93 so Shokov fell asleep with joy he was very lucky today he did not enter a guardhouse nor did their class be taken to a socialist life complex at lunch he could have another bowl of cashews by deftly tricking them the captain also controlled the workload and brought it in safely. In the evening, he took care of the food parcel waiting sequence on behalf of Cesar and got his dinner in return. He also bought a cigarette, and his body became better too. A day like this has passed almost to be happy with nothing depressing and unpleasant. These days continued for 3,000 653 days until the end of the sentence. Three more days were due to the leap year. Analysis um, I want to talk about three concepts in the book. The first one is meaning of bread, cigarette, and soup. They represent Shokov's physical and mental sustenance. 
They are important factors for giving happiness to him during the day. So, especially the bread is a symbol of physical and spiritual sustenance in the novel. Although the physical sustenance that bread gives the prisoners is more important to most of them than its religious significance, Alvushka's um, a character in the book, Alvushka's reference to the Lord's Prayer and its mention of our daily bread alludes to the spiritual nourishment that bread offers. And second is no hope. But, well, actually, there is hope. Um, the meaning of no hope is that no hope of um, being free. Yes. So, Shukhov's prison sentence was decided to be 10 years, but he does not think he can go out of the camp because the, the officers extend the period. Um... One of his um, prison members named Churin. Um, Churin finished his uh, period, but he couldn't go out because the officers extended the period. And as I said before, um, it was very usual to extend the period for no reason and lastly um i want to talk that one day of even is same with our day one day because um it is very similar his day is very similar to our day um, Shukhov has to wake up early to work, compete, feel excitement during the work, find himself through work. And our everyday is not very different from him. We have to wake up to go to school or go to work. And we compete with people. And we also feel excitement during the work. And yes. We know ourselves. So I thought that um, I thought that just the place is different and but the flow of the day is same. And lastly, major themes. Um, the, the major themes are power and authority and human dignity. Uh, so first, power and authority. Uh, in the most visible sense, power and authority rest in the hierarchical, hierarchical, hierarchical structure existing among the camp's inhabitants on, a, on another level however the camp can be viewed as a microcosm of the soviet union under stalin's regime which is the force that creates the conditions for such a camp to exist in the first place in this larger picture the soviet state stands as the ultimate power and authority over both the officials and prisoner prisoners of the camp driven by their sense of power and authority um, the camp officials create a laundry list of absurd rules that actually impede the prisoners ability to survive and function within the soviet ideal these rules, which threaten the prisoners' survival, act to pit the prisoners against one another as they attempt to meet their basic needs, including access to food, warmth, and clothing, um, limiting any hope of a collective society within the camp. And second, human dignity. Um, the 
Stalinist labor camp in which Shokhov is imprisoned is designed to attack its prisoners' physical and spiritual dignity. Living conditions are near, nearly intolerable. By replacing prisoners' names with officialistic combinations of letters and numbers, the camp erases all traces of individuality. Shikhov does not passively accept this attempt to dehumanize him. However, um, he shows that the way to maintain human dignity is not through outward rebellion but through devel developing a personal belief system. Shikhov may be treated like an animal by the Soviet camp system, but he subtly fights back and refuses to submit. His insistence on his own dignity amounts to an underground declaration of war against the state that imprisons him. And to sum up, my personal um, opinion is that it was very boring, um, but it was interesting also mm, but I felt bad for uh, the main character because um, I can't live in the environment like that um, it is really terrible but however um i like the point that um when shukov um feels excitement when he eats more bread or smoke or um well something that makes him feel good uh I thought it is very similar to me because me too I have something that makes me feel good and um, even though the prison tries to dehumanize him um, he is resistant to the attempt and and yes in the point I like Thank you for listening.